My first Bigfoot encounter was very much unexpected. It was a very real experience that changed me. I was 17 years old. I had a place to fish that I had been to with, with my dad ever since I was a little boy. That day, there was nothing that was strange. Everything was just the way it had been ever since I was a little boy. The place I fished was a place, a series of gravel pits or borrow pits where they take the gravel out of the earth. I loved to fish and that was my place to get away. I had noticed some footprints, but I attributed that to be other animals or beavers that had slid and didn't really pay a whole lot of attention. As I was heading on down, I kept noticing that there was a you know, strange smell. And as I was walking, something began to pace me from inside the wood line. And that had never happened before, even with my dad being there all those years. So I was listening and I heard step beside me. Hello? Hello? I just blew it off. I continued walking. When I did, pretty soon the steps continued beside me. And I thought, man, now that's too coincidental. So I stopped again. Hello? It kind of made me uneasy, but then, you know, it, it, when you're in the woods, your imagination can run wild with you. I've quickened my pace a little bit. Pretty soon, this whatever this animal is is walking beside me again. I thought, well, this thing is actually pacing me over here, so I started jogging. When I started jogging, this thing was spoon, spoon, spoon. And I realized whatever it was was paying attention to me. So I took off running. All of a sudden, when I heard this animal roar at me, the first thing that impressed me was volume. Oh my gosh. Your clothes vibrate. It's that loud. We have cottonmouths, we have copperheads, we have rattlesnakes. I ran through the woods with disregard for those things. I realized what I had was going to be a whole lot worse than a snake bite. <laughs> I cross the road, look around, nothing there. So I'm like, man, whatever that was, you just considered yourself lucky. But I went that night and I bought me a Bowie knife. I thought, I'll take care of that sucker next time I'm down here. It's human nature, after your uh, threat has gone away, time kind of heals everything. Lightning's not going to strike twice in the same place. But as I get to where this crossroads is, I take a look down there. I've had that uneasy feeling, that sixth sense that you get that something's not right. 
and the smell is, is just even worse now. I'm looking down there, I notice a shape. This shape all of a sudden begins to move. And he looks at me. He postures to me like, this is my area. Don't come down here. And he begins to teeter from one side to the other side. And his eyes were black as, as pieces of charcoal. And he never took his gaze off of me. I realized that I was hyperventilating. Couldn't breathe. My feet said, go. My body said, you're not. And I was just frozen to the ground. I'm weighing out my options. Finally, it came to me that as I started getting some of my bearings back about me, that uh, I needed to go. I'm looking over my shoulder to make sure he's not coming. It has no place I can hide. I'm running like crazy. He's going to get you here. He's already up here, and he's going to step out, and he's going to get you. What am I going to do with my rod and reel? That was given to me by somebody that was special to me at the time. So I got it, and I took off like there was no tomorrow. I could not breathe. I was shaking, crying uncontrollably. My whole face was just soaking wet. Did this really happen? Was this really real? And your answer is always yes. My world had been messed up because not only was it to the point that it affected me physically, but psychologically. It was actually a Bigfoot. So it, it made me realize these things are here.